Welcome back to the channel guys and today we have a Daisy Powerline 426. We're about to disassemble it and we're going to assemble it back again to show you guys how it's done. And I've been practicing on this disassemble it and I've gotten pretty good on it. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to do it as well. And first step is if you have a screwdriver or a knife, whatever it is, as long as it has a screw tip to uh, take the nails off. It has a, a, it has a total of five nails and it won't be that long to take them off. Pretty easy. Make sure your gun is unloaded before you start doing this. Now, first step we're going to do is unscrew it from this side right here. You know, I'm going to use this L because that's a thinner point. That way you can fit through the screws a little bit better make sure you hold the barrel down with your thumb because when you unscrew this part it will basically fly out and you'll lose your parts from the barrel so make sure you hold it nice and tight now do it boom there it is if you don't hold it with your thumb it basically fly out all the way over there and lose your your barrel tip and the spring right here next screw we're gonna unlock is this one you don't completely have to take them off just leave them untied so the gun will be able to open Okay, now, second step is take this out, the handle, put it on the side. Now, next step is take the case out. There we go, put it on the side. So first part we're gonna be taking out will be the barrel of the gun, then the trigger, then the CO2 assembly, okay? Really simple, don't worry guys, you could start in any order. I'll teach you guys how to do it, everything, how to put everything back step by step, do not worry. So, first thing we're gonna take out is the barrel. Right there, take the barrel out nice and neatly, unload the spring, and put it to the side. Next thing we're gonna be taking out is this part, the safety. Next part we're gonna be taking out is the trigger. Okay, here's the trigger. Next part we're gonna be taking out is the CO2 assembly. There it is. Easily taken out, no pressure easily taken out now all we have left is the shell of the gun and here is a safety boat remember the red should be pointing down like this and then put it back like this right there that's exactly where we want to put it back now time to assemble it all back together okay first thing we're gonna put back is the co2 valve right there in place perfect next thing we're gonna be putting back is the barrel Make sure this part is facing down, this thing that you that you could flip it to the top and down like this, like a little switch. Make sure it's like that this way. And the wobbly tube is supposed to be on this side. And the thick side of the barrel should be sticking out on the other side. And the cylinder should be sticking out to the front as well. So make sure you put it this way, like this. Next thing we're gonna put is the compartment holder. This basically holds your barrel in place when you're shooting. So what way it will go in is like this. Make sure the spring's facing down and the T side is facing the right, which is like this. And the spring right there, put it back on its place with your finger in this little compartment. And there it is. It's hold on place tight and neatly. Next is the trigger. And you're gonna put it in place. And the next thing you're putting is this little tube across the circle of the trigger so it can hold it on place. There you go. Next thing we're putting is this little spring which holds the BBs in place when you're shooting, which goes in this place of the gun. Make sure you put the little circle thing this way, facing to the left, like this. Next thing we're gonna put is this tiny little spring, which holds the trigger in place. Now, the way you're gonna wanna put this is like this. Okay? And then you're gonna put it on this black tip right there facing out the trigger.
The next part of the gun we're gonna put is this spring, which holds the barrel in place as well. Hold some pressure in there so your BB could shoot. Now put it in the barrel, stick it in. There next is this, the last part of all of them. But first we're gonna have to put the shell back. Now, before you put the shell back, make sure you, the screw on this side is out. I have it on this side over here because it'll basically not let the barrel back in. These screws don't really matter. You can leave it in there no matter what. They just leave them there. They just leave them there. So put them back like this. And then put the barrel tip back like this. Now hold it with your, with your thumb and then put the screw with your other hand on this side. Now screw it back together with your screwdriver. Now you can release it from your finger. There it is, on police. Next, screw up all the other screws. There it is guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoy it and want to see more of these videos, make sure you smash the like button and comment down below which gun you want to see disassembled. And then I'll do it and you know, teach you guys how to do it. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out. See you on the next one.